Hi, this is Ken Sanders, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Uversion Bible app, specifically to put sermon notes online for organizations or for churches that want to put, um, you know, again, sermon notes or other types of content online that other people can access. So we're going to go to uh, Bible.com, or you can go to Uversion.com. I'm on Bible.com right now. I'm going to sign in. And put my password in. Sure. So we're on the U version uh, page here. On the left hand side, there, when you sign into your account, there is a menu over here, and we're going to go down to live slash groups. Oops, what's the deal there? Okay, it's going to bring you to this page. Now over on the right side, there are some things about groups. You can create a new event, and this is going to have your groups listed. So you have to have a group set up before you can create an event for that group. So it sort of makes sense. So if you want to create a new group, you can go to View All. These are my groups. This is my church. This is St. Louis Christian College Chapel. And you can edit those right here. This is all groups right here. You don't want that. Okay, so this is my groups, and you can go to create a group to make a new one. Your group name, group website, type of group it is. You can describe your group, put another website there if you want, and then the privacy for the group and the terms of service and all that. So I'm not going to create a group right now because I don't need to. So let's go back. And I'm going to go to SLCC Chapel because that's the group that I'm going to create an event for. Okay, so again, I'm going to go back to events here. And I'm going to go to create an event, or you can do it right here, either way. Okay, so I'm going to set up an event. Actually, I'm going to set up our first chapel service. So here under title, you're going to put the title of your message or that specific uh, event. So I'm going to say... SLCC Convocation as the title of our first service. You can put a subtitle here if you want. You don't have to. You can put a description here if you want to. Again, you don't have to. Now, this is important. You're going to publish it on a certain time. So, let's say our convocation service is August the 20th, 2013. So, I'm going to put it on that date. And you can publish it before the actual start time of the event. So I'm going to go, this is kind of a weird thing they have set up here. I'm going to go to, let's say, 9 a.m. It's going to go live. The event starts at 10.15 a.m. It's going to end the same day at 11 a.m. Okay, so... This is when it goes live. This is when it starts. This is when it ends. And you can also put a hold date here. And this is the opposite of the the opposite of when you publish the event. So you can basically this is when you can have it taken offline. So I'm going to set it for the date of the next chapel service, which will be that Friday. And you can set a time here if you want to. I'll just say 10:15 uh, a.m. That's when this will go offline because you don't want like you know, dozens of events clogging up your, you know, event thing on the U version. Choose your time zone, which is Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Let's hit save. All right, so this is the page where you're going to actually edit and put in all the different things that people are going to see whenever they go to that event on your site. Okay, and you can drag all these things over here. Let me demonstrate each of these quickly. Actually, I'm just going to drag each one of these over here so you can see how each of these work. And we're not actually going to use all these. Oops, maybe you can. Oh, okay. 
Apparently you can only put so many things, uh, so many of these options over here. Okay, so let's start out with Bible reference. Click on that. Now the way that I do it, you can do it a different way if you want to, but I like to put the actual reference here. So let's say you're preaching from uh, Genesis 1, 1 through 3. Genesis 1, 1 through 3. Okay, and under the reference here, you're going to actually, okay, so whenever you see that, whenever you start to type out the name of the Bible book, it's going to begin to fill that in. You need to format it exactly like this, and you can choose your Bible version. I'm just going to choose an IV because it's already there. Okay, so that's saved. Let's go to uh, question. Now, these probably are not in the order that you would use them, but they're in the order that you could select them. So, here's the question. You could put uh, some kind of title here. You could put some sort of a nifty title there or something that's interesting. And you could put a question here that's just a strict, strictly an open-ended question. Uh, maybe you're doing a sermon on prayer. What is your biggest struggle with prayer. Okay, and again, submissions are private. Okay, you've got an online giving link, and you could see what you give here. Here's where you can give online. Okay, and you can do a PayPal donation there, even though nobody likes PayPal. Then you can put uh, a URL here that people can go to. Maybe it's uh, yourchurch.com slash giving or whatever the site is. Okay, here's an audio link you can add. Here's an audio for you to check out. Okay, and you can put a description here. And you can put a URL there. Let me give you an example of this. This is my podcast files. Actually, let me do this one. Okay, this is a direct download file. So you can do this from Libsyn or Dropbox or wherever you have an MP3 or audio file stored. So I'm going to put that link in this URL. Oops. And we'll see how that works a little bit later. Okay, that's saved. You can put a share link here where you can just share um, hashtag there, uh, obviously for Twitter, Facebook too, I guess, or a link to whatever else that you want. Okay, so we're going to save that. Now the notes is something that you will probably use. Sermon notes. Let's say if uh, the speaker's going to do point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, and you can add a link to allow users to add their own notes for this event. Okay, so we've got notes. Uh, let's go to, you can add a poll. Here's a poll. And you could ask, you know, the same question different ways. You could do a poll, or you could do, like, um, an open-ended question, like we did earlier. So the poll question could be, "What is your bigger biggest struggle with prayer?" You could add a response, um, "Not enough time." Add another response, maybe, uh, "I don't know how." You can add another response. Um, I can't think of a response now, but let's say response number three. You can say that. Okay. Now let's um, add some new items. Let's see, prayer request. You can add prayer request, video link, and general link. Okay. Let's take a look at these last three. Prayer requests. See here, uh, 
have a prayer need, and you could put a description there of what you're asking for. When people submit prayer requests, it's anonymous if they want it to be. I'll show you that in just a minute, how this will actually look to the audience members. You can put a video link here. It's the same thing as the audio link, except obviously it's video. And you can put a YouTube link there or a link to something from Dropbox or just whatever. And then a general link here. You can just put a link to whatever you would need to. So Now here's the thing is you can add more than one of each of these. So let's say if you have two Bible references and maybe you have some more notes, okay, you can actually move these around. Oops. Or can you? Oh, sorry. You have to grab these on the side to move these around, which is pretty cool. So let's say if you have like at the beginning of the message, you might have a question, then a Bible reference, and then notes, Bible reference, then maybe more notes, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's check this out and see how this actually looks. Oh, let's put another, another Bible reference in here just for good measure. Let's say we're going to do uh, Revelation 4. 1 through uh, 5. I'm just picking out a verse at random. Revelation 4, 1 through 5. Notice that the title and the reference is the same. Okay, so let's see how this looks. If you go to Preview, okay, this is what this is going to look like on here. Okay, so you have the title. SLCC Convocation. SLCC Chapel is the name of the is the name of the event as a whole. Okay, but SLCC Convocation is the name of this specific event. It gives you the time that it lasts. Okay, you can put a question in here. Biggest struggle with prayer. Not enough time. People can submit that. Okay, here's the scripture verse. You can act, view this in the Bible reader as well when you're looking at the app. Sermon notes, you can add, also add your own notes here. So you can save those, or you can have those emailed to yourself, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to preview. Sermon notes, here's more scripture. Here's an example of just some more notes if you want to giving audio, so like if I press this, oh, whoops, I have my audio turned down. Okay, let's go down to audio. Okay, you can share this on Twitter or Facebook if you'd like to. Here's a poll, let's say if your response is number two, you can vote. And then immediately people see the, re the results of the poll if you include one of those. That's a really cool feature. I've used that a lot. And then people can put in a prayer need. This is my urgent prayer request. They can put in their email address, but they don't have to if they want to keep it private. They can submit that. Then you can have a video link here. I don't think this will probably work. No, there's not an actual video link there, I don't think. And here's another link as well. Okay. So this is what it all looks like on the actual app. Now, let's go to the dashboard. Okay, so on this menu right here, you have info for the event, the items that you've included here, and hopefully you won't include all these probably or that'll be kind of a mess. You can preview it to see what it looks like on the actual app. And then your dashboard is where the administrator or whoever is putting this together can go. You can see the answers to the questions that people have put in. Okay, for instance, remember I put that in, not enough time. Uh, here's a poll you can view. Oops, what's the deal with that? Okay, that's the results of the poll. Uh, how do I get out of the poll? Okay, there we go. 
and then you can view the prayer needs there. So the event dashboard is where you're going to go to actually see all of these things. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Really, this is a pretty simple deal to uh, set up, but it's very, very useful. Play around with it. See how it works for your organization or for your church, and I think you'll really find this to be an incredibly useful thing. I'm going to actually delete this event because I'm going to go back and change it later. But there you go. Thanks so much for watching.